hello guys welcome back to my kitchen hope you're doing well compliments of the season today i'm cooking with something special i'm cooking with a delicious humongous fish i'm cooking with what we call Ejaosun. Some people also call this fish asa fish. This is one of the requirements of a Yoruba bride prize. Like when you are getting married as a bride, it is required that your husband to be brings you a number of pieces of this Ejaosun because it is so expensive. So if you are Yoruba, let me know in the comment section how many pieces of Ejaosun are you required to get as your bride price anyways let me show you guys the fish and then I'm going to show you guys the recipe we're making with the fish you guys this is the fish this is a jowl some fish can you see it I got it from waterside fisheries it comes frozen it comes fresh and it also comes roasted so anyone you want you can get it from waterside fisheries I know it's an expensive fish but it's for special occasions like festive times as we have now so go and grab your own ejaosun because they have loads loads and loads of fresh ejaosun if you're looking for somewhere that stocks ejaosun in lagos that is where you need to go to waterside fisheries i'm going to put their details in the description box and in my captions so that you guys can have access to this delicious fish i cannot wait to you know clean it's the frost and everything and then we cook with it this is so exciting this seafood okra will have a lot of obstacles we have our king prawns these are very big and they're expensive and you deserve this season next we have our edge out song it has been cut and cleaned and you guys give yourself a treat this fish is so good i can't wait to show you and then we have our crabs they are going to add a lot of color and definitely a lot of flavor to this soup and then we have our seafood mix a bit of shrimp some calamari but that that's not all we have dried prawns if you're not using dried prawns you're making a mistake you also have to add stock fish not a lot but just this amount we add the right amount of flavor we'll also be adding some smoked manla fish and some crayfish we're going to blend all of this later do not skip these ingredients we have tatashe onions and scotch bonnet we now have yellow scotch bonnet do not omit this this is my secret vegetable i'll be using it's called beletietien it is the vegetable we use for banga soup oh my goodness if you don't use it in this okra <laughs> i don't know what you're doing go and use it next we have our uziza seeds they will be blended of course you know uziza seeds is a kicker in a lot of nigerian soups and then we have our okra which will be chopped I'm going to add the tatashe, the yellow scotch bonnet, red scotch bonnet, onions, crayfish, add a bit of water and just pulse it in the processor. I want a rough chop. If you do not have a processor, then you can, you know, pound it in a mortar and pestle to just have the same effect. I'm blending it like this because you want to be able to see like little specks of the pepper and the onion. It just adds a beautiful visual effect. In a pot, I'm going to add my palm oil and then we'll add our blended pepper mix. Allow to fry for a bit for about maybe five minutes and then we're going to add some water so I'm just using the residue of the pepper now we're going to add the stock fish we're going to add the smoked panla fish we're going to add the smoked crayfish and then our crabs mix everything together Now add your ejao son in that pot. You need it to steam. This soup does not take long to cook. The ejao son does not scatter in the soup and that is one of the reasons I love it. 
season with some salt and some fish stock powder and you guys that is all the seasoning you need then we are going to add our uziza seeds because you know that is the kicker that is the flavor <laughs> we're adding more water mixed together just gently gently and then we will allow this to cook for about seven minutes seafood okra is one of my favorite soups to cook because it just cooks very fast and it is so so delicious if you want to learn how to make nigerian soups i have the cookbook for you go to the link in my description box and download my nigerian soups cookbook it has over 30 nigerian soups stews and sauces so if you want to learn how to be a super <laughs> do you get it super chef then go and download that cookbook the digital copy is available for download also if you want the hard copy you can get it on amazon now the fish is cooked fish does not take long to cook about seven to ten minutes will do so we're taking out our edge also so that we can mix in the rest of the ingredients Now we're going to add our king prawns. And then we're adding the seafood mix, which is some shrimp and calamari. You guys, the aroma that envelops this kitchen is one that you should experience for yourself mix everything together and you can see the colors already playing in this soup this is how i like my okra chopped separates you understand i don't like the smooth blend and we're just going to add it to the pot of soup now give it a good mix combining all the ingredients while we are mixing the ingredients you guys do me a favor if you enjoy watching this video just click the like button on the video that's all you need to do you don't need to do anything else it really helps out my channel so go click the like button while we are mixing our okra thank you at this point i'm adding my belletente and this vegetable just hides in the soup but it adds a lot of flavor and when people taste your seafood okra, they'll be like, why does it taste so good? Why does it taste so different? They will not know that you have the sesame secrets, <laughs> which is some of these ingredients that we've put together. Now we're going to reintroduce our ejao song back to this gorgeous pot of soup because the ejao song belongs here. This is your home, Ejelson, in this pot of soup. And then you go straight to my belly because I deserve. I'm just so happy that I have an easy way to assess Ejelson. Typically, you'd have to go to the seafood market, stress, 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 haggle, haggle, haggle. But Waterside Fisheries has made it easy for us. So I'm going to put a link to their Instagram page so that you can order your Ejelson in bulk if you want. You need to eat good fish this season. Look at my gorgeous plate, you guys. Should I eat it with Eba or Fufu? Well, Fufu is calling me. I really hope you try this recipe. If you do, don't forget to tag me on social media. I would love to see you recreate it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.